Hi guys, it's Minx here. Today we are playing Sim, or Sarah is Missing. This is like a found footage horror game, where we find the phone of a missing person, I believe. I guess we're going to see what happens. I don't really know much about this other than... System failure. Your device ran into a problem and needs to reset. Do you want to restore your device into an earlier time? If you'd like to know more, you can search online for this error. Critical process died. I don't really know. Um, one thing I will say is this is on Itch.io, and it is, well, it's pay what you like. So you can get it for free if you want, or you can contribute to the developers as well. There you go. Guess we're restoring the system. This is really cool. You can play this on Android, I believe, as well. So you can actually play it like it's actually your phone, which is kind of cool. I'm playing this on PC. Jesus Christ! Welcome back, Sarah. This phone appears to be damaged, and you don't appear to be Sarah. Have we met? Can I type? Oh, okay, I want to choose reply. Um, I'm not Sarah. Who is Sarah? Sarah Young is the rightful owner of this phone. Please return it to her. Okay, hi Sarah, how's it going? I wish I could, but how? Based on your response, I assume she is not with you? I don't even know her. It seems the last video she took implies that she is in danger. Would you like to watch it and help me verify? Not really, this isn't any of my business. I just found this phone line around the 23% battery. And I was like, whose phone's this? And I thought, well, it's not locked, that's kind of weird. Most phones are locked these days. And now I'm investigating a dangerous video? I guess we'll go, yeah, sure. Here we go. I hear footsteps. I mean, there's no immediate danger there. She looks a bit scared, but, you know, I wouldn't be that worried at that point, you know? <laughs> this is the only file left at this moment. The rest of the content seems to be deleted or intentionally damaged. How much can you fix? It appears that only 14.3% of this device is operational. Sarah looks like she needs help. Sarah. Yes, it would appear to be so. I am the mobile's intelligent recognition in iconometry system, Iris. It is in my best interest and in your good conscience that I locate her immediately. Don't play to my fucking- I have no conscience, fuck off! But I guess we should probably investigate. Why do you want to help find Sarah? She is my owner. I want to make sure she is safe. It is my prime directive. You want? Yes. I want. This is kind of creepy. We are wasting precious time here. Will you help me find Sarah? I guess yes. I need to restore as much of the contents in this phone as I'm able to. Please hold the back button, then tap and hold anywhere on the home screen to proceed. Okay, so please press the back button and tap and hold, okay. I believe I can recover some of this phone's data. Would you like me to restore them now? I, I guess so. I am starting the restore process now. Remember, you can tap and hold at any part of the phone and ask for help with anything. But it's something out of my capabilities. I will let you know with a beep. Okay, so these are text messages. Okay, loads of things are getting restored. Music. Phone. Notes. Okay, I guess we should... Oh. What did you say, Iris? 
As I calculated, only a minor portion of the phone's contents are available. Where should I start? Perhaps try going through her text history. Look through Sora's messages and emails. Tap and hold anything that looks suspicious. Find clues to Sora's phone which might reveal where she is. Okay. Alright, that's the chat unavailable. 27th of April. That's a few days ago. Coffee, 1800? Yeah, sure, but let's make it 6.30pm. 18.30 it is. Why, are they, why is one using normal clock and one using 24 hour clock? I mean, in the UK we'd all use 24 hour, but still. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I got to go. Ladies, jam. <coughs> okay, so why is this not relevant to anything? Okay, guess this is not relevant. Oh, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. And we say, forget him, Sarah. No, so. Hang on. So we're saying he's so annoying. I'm so over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you do something fun, something crazy? I mean, you're doing it now, your endless research on the paranormal. I don't know, I guess you're right. You are a genius in the batch. Ugh, I'm so stupid. So we've gone through a rough breakup. Well, Sarah has gone through a rough breakup. Okay. No problem, I'm here for you if you need me. Save so you has become my speciality. Ha, very funny. You'll be alright. I know, I know. Hey, have a safe flight. Good luck and I hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks, we'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do somehow, I think you'll find a cure for it. I just might. Take care. So I guess Jill has gone off to be a doctor. So how was your trip? It was terrible. Why was it terrible? Derek broke up with me. Sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week? No, I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What's it about? Can we scroll down or... No. Hang on, do these change each time? Mm, this is new, right? This is the same person I clicked on, but it's new. Not my problem. We'll have fun here. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I'm friends with you, really. Lucky me, huh? So this is like the day before yesterday. Hey, do you have the tapes and CDs? Yeah, been a while since I had them, though. Good, because I'm going to take my penis on your head and you can see these nuts. Okay, buddy, that's actually pretty funny. I really wasn't joking. And I'm out. Okay. Hey, be delicious, you okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me in some ABS at the club. Sorry, babe, got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have abs like, like, the, like, abs like Tarzan. Sorry, you know, I don't want, I want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time? It's ladies' night, besides we've got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama, you know how them ice cream melts down abs? Tempting, but I'm gonna pass. So I is thirsty as fuck. And he's also spamming us. Hey, where have you been? Why don't you reply? I texted you last night. I heard you went out with Faith last night. That's important. Sarah's actions, it's unusual. Why's that? The various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes in her daily life. I can simulate and deduce that interactions or inactions in the situation does not match her past behaviour. What is Sarah like usually? Her recent behaviour shows she is suffering from abrupt and apparent unaccountable chains of moods. Okay. So maybe she's depressed? Possibly due to her relationship issue. Yeah, she broke up with her boyfriend. But I'm no doctor. So yeah, I was like, why can't I get hold of you? Hey, you there? What do you want? Nothing, I just... I'm about to board. Why should I care? Well, that's one of the probs, ain't it? You barely care. Do you text me to tell me that? You're such an arsehole. Look, I didn't mean... I definitely didn't want to hurt you. I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end, I guess. That's why I'm trying to say... I don't know. <clears throat> so... Basically, this is her ex, yeah? Baby, talk to me, please. I'm so sorry I miss you. What are you up to? Sarah, please talk to me. Baby. I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay, got it. Bye, Sarah. So they broke up. Okay. Hi, Mum. Just wanted to check in. Derek and I decided to end things. Things were not working out, so... 
but I'm okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Sarah, but I've always known that Derek can never keep up with you. Best you only things before it got too serious. What time is your flight back? I can have my driver pick you up at the airport. Right, well, Mum, actually, don't panic. I decided to stay. Sorry, you understand. The only reason you can do this is because you're living under my roof and I'm paying all your expenses. You lived a pretty comfortable life and a spot one at that. I've given you nothing but the best and all I've asked for is that you go to this one meeting and you shoot it down without even thinking about it. How ungrateful of you. And your father, he was a good man, rest his soul. But useless at living, he was a bum. I won't stand for it if you like become him. If you become like him. Okay, mum. Going in for a meeting, I'll be home early today. You'll have dinner at home. We will take take further on this. We will take further on this? Talk further? Okay. So, our mum is like, obviously a bit of a high roller. Like, has a, a her own business or something it looks like. Faith. I'm an idiot, by the way. I've been like clicking on and off these fucking things. And without thinking, it's been working like a fucking phone. So, obviously, you can just scroll up and down on the fucking things and see the whole fucking conversation. I'm just a fucking moron. Because I didn't think about... I didn't think... I think, think about it in the context of a mouse, okay? Okay, so this is Faith. What are you doing this weekend? Swamp with work, actually. Why? I need a favour. You always need a favour. What's new? Don't be mean. I really want to go to this gathering. You mean party? Yeah. I'm really not up for it. But it's your sort of thing. What do you mean? It's well purges knacked. Isn't that the witch's feast? How is that my thing? You're the pagan. Hey, I follow you to church, alright? What's the big deal? Anyway, you're like into all these supernatural stuff too. Yeah, I don't party with ghosts. I'm not going to fall for one of your coven invitations again, Faith. Oh, come on. That was a joke, come on. Plus, they aren't real witches. I bet I'm the only one real one round here. Just some guys playing coven. We all do it, you know. Halloween, hello. I don't know, Faith. Maybe not. Ask me again tomorrow or something. Okay. So nothing I see immediately there, apart from the fact that she... So according to Aya, she went out with Faith. Presumably to that party? What's in her email? Hello, sir. Great start to your London 27. Wish this show for great taste. Okay. Hello, Sarah. It's your birthday month. Celebrate your birthday with us. Here's what we lined up exclusively for you. It's just some bollocks again. Just coffee. Okay, so a dating site. Mingles with the shingles. Hey, Sarah. I'm forwarded to you. It's from a friend. I think you should be careful. P.S. Rina loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. Jesus Christ. I just got Jesus. Jesus Christ, really? But wherever emails with strange attachments, there is a chain email going around that I strongly advise you do not read it, and most importantly, do not open the attachment. It can be in any shape or form, but always with a particular video attached. It is said that whoever watches the video will also open upon a bad omen. The sender will also encourage you to send the video to people you know. If you receive such content, please delete them from your phone. Only you can prevent the spread of malicious content on the web. Poet Society wishes you. Happy birthday, Sarah. How lucky are you for being born on Valentine's Day. Wish up. Oh, they broke up. I think they broke up on Valentine's Day is what it looks like. That's pretty shit. We wish the coolest member with one of our favourite poems. To end up alone in a tomb of a room without cigarettes or wine. Just a light bulb and a pot belly. Grey haired and glad to have the room. From the wee... This is fucking messed up. This is weird. Okay, this looks weird though, right? Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. On the virus now, I was referring to the computer virus hidden in the 11th essay. It's not entirely true. The virus was the essay. You would have a good point. How would a person who was cybernized at an early age, like the major, develop properly? I would imagine they would have left the pituitary gland untouched. Is it about gross in the shell? Overall development in all areas of the human body and psyche would prevent a conundrum where cybernization is introduced into the equation. Yeah, this is a about ghost in the shell. However, the themes from the standalone context are not in the catcher in the rye or the laughing man. These books are merely being referred to quite a lot. So they're having a conversation about the young cybernization of Makoto Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell. That's something I expected to see there. And the thesis deadline was the 30th of April, 2016 at 5pm. 
which I'm assuming she didn't submit. You know? Unfortunately, this app has stopped working. Please contact the developer for more information. Might be copyrighted, so I probably shouldn't play that. Um, phone. Um, can we call these people? Where's Faith? Is Faith in our contacts? Yeah, Faith. Cool. Is anyone going to answer? Should I call any, like, should I call the people who, like, I was trying to get hold of me, right? Aya Nami Aka. Fuck. I guess I probably shouldn't. Notes. There's no place I call home, but it's warm in between your toned thighs like winter tigers listening to God whispering good night from nowhere. These are poems and shit. And I giggled. And I didn't know that when I giggle, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand and I giggle no more. You loved me yesterday, but today, no. Today you love yourself and I, I loved yesterday. What the fuck is this? Iris. Any fucking ideas here? Okay, that's great. There's got to be something I'm missing in one of her messages or emails. I still think this is weird. I think that's really weird. You know what I mean? Um. Give me a second, guys, while I look around and try and find the next bit of information, I guess, because I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. <clears throat> okay, the faith text message is important. Will purges an act? Curious. I might have heard of this before. I think I do know what it is. Well, Purgis Nacht or Purgis Night is English. is one of the Dutch and German names for the night of the 30th of April. So called because it's the eve of the feast day of St. Walpurga, an 18th century abbess in Francia. It's believed it's the night of a witch's meeting. I feel that Sarah is involved in something deeper. What do you say? Okay, she wants me to check something. I think there might be all clues in her whereabouts if we can look through her pictures. I believe there's an error with the gallery. Would you kindly tap and hold on the gallery icon? Okay. Please wait while I find out what's wrong. Okay. It seems Sarah has kept it locked. You need the passcode to proceed further. The hint is Sarah's birthday. Iris, we don't have time for this. I'm afraid I can't have real personal information. We'll need to find it out herself. Oh, she's born on Valentine's Day. I know. Where should I start looking for a birthday? How the hell do I do that? Just so that. I know the answer already. Will it be 14 2? Is it Valentine's Day 14? So, 0 2 1 14. What the fuck day is Valentine's Day? Is it the 15th? I don't fucking know. Is it this? I don't. One second. One second, guys. I need to figure this out. I'm an idiot. It was 1402. Did I type it in wrong the first time? 1402 is a correct answer, and I thought I tried that, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, gallery is unlocked. Okay, let's do the camera first. Iris says this is a strange photo. Let's uh, let's go through the photos one by one. Lovely. Great. Brilliant. Fantastic. Amazing. T 
Fatu. Tetu. Just whatever. <laughs> that made me laugh. Well done. You did well. I guess that's her and Derek, maybe? Definitely nothing unusual here so far. Fire Chicken Ben, like, that's pretty impressive, though. Pretty old school PS2. Oh, Kitty's pretty numb. That's the one on her phone background. <clears throat> just, like, really normal shit, you know what I mean? What I just say, look, like, that looks so unappealing to me. I'm such a fat bitch. That's, like, looks healthy, and I'm like, Bleh. Okay. Is this the weird one? Seems this photo correlates with a video in a chat thread that Sarah has recently deleted. Would you like me to retrieve the data? Yeah. Please wait a moment while I restore the data for you. It looks like someone's watching her, I guess? It's certainly an unusual picture, just because it's a creepy fucking mask. So going to restore the chat thread with Sarah's contact, James. The video should be in the message there. And that's the end of those. She looks markedly more down. Let's look at the videos quickly as well. I hear footsteps. Okay, so that's the one from before. Let's try this one. <laughs> I like the fact we're watching it, like, in that we turn the phone around. That's pretty cool. Little oh, kitty, hi! Such a cute little kitty! It's not as cute as Pretzel, though. Pretzel's the normest dog of all time, and he's normer than all cats ever. And that's how things are. So I'm sorry about that, but that's how things are. Okay, pretty normal shit. So, the question remains, are ghosts still relevant in today's society? Well, I think we all know that ghost stories sort of started out with cavemen sitting around a fire, a campfire telling each other these stories to scare each other, right? And then it evolved into um, superstition, there was religion, the 19th century came around, and then of course, um, the advent of vampires. But vampires reside in the night. So how is it that till today, we still have ghosts, and now ghosts have actually moved over into cyberspace. Cyberspace. That's how it's relevant. Yes. I have no fucking clue what she's talking about right now. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so, James. Okay, so these are both things that have been unlocked, right? Mm -hmm. New messages. Yo, what are you up to? Busy, busy? Anyway, I remembered you told me you wanted to start a blog, right? About our ghost and curse research? I've got something if you're interested. Hey, Jam. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I am. Better be good. Kinda, there's this thing called a red room. There's been reports of people dying through weird circumstances. Like, after checking out the weird website, you answer some stuff and then bam. Okay? Keep going. So yeah, they say that if you visit this site, your computer or phone or whatever will start freaking out. Pop-ups will start to appear and your visitors will go insane. Hang on, let me find a link to the vid. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, those weird, like, creepy pasta images there just, like, were, like, f just kind of killed it a bit. <laughs> What's this, the 90s? Sounds pretty lame. At least you had a reasonable reaction to that as well, though. Something's wrong. What's wrong with you? My controls are malfunctioning. I can't seem to... Oh shit, what the fuck is about to happen? That red room is connected with the cult. What cult? The cult can... You're losing me, Iris! Found another message that was recently deleted. Might hold some clues. I would restore for you. You kindly look at it under the Arizu text thread. Okay, I'm not done reading this now. Lame get this rumour has it. Have you heard of the Succeed by Slashing? It's linked to this site. So when the police went through the killer's computer, the last site found on the killer's phone was this. But still, you know how rumours can get around on the web. Maybe nothing, but understand if you're scared. 
By the way, I've gone on it. Still standing. But hey, it's trending now, so this might be to get dibs on it. Okay, fine. I'll check it out. I have quite high standards. I know you do. Hope you don't get insane. I got to go jogging at five. Thanks. Night, Colonel Jam. Night, Scary. Scary, Sarah. Okay. Right, Faith. Hey, come on, Sarah. It'll be awesome. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Don't make me put a spell on your skinny ass. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything, especially your fake witchery. Lies. You're the most chicken shit out of all of us, and there's nothing fake about my magic. I love the way she spells magic, by the way. So edgy. That's not true. Yes, it is. You're scared of practicing practically everything. Well, I'm not scared of a fucking party. Maybe, maybe not, but you're scared of boys. No, what, they fucking kindergarten? No, I'm not. Not sure how Derek can stand you for so long. Hey, you didn't have to say that. Sorry. Sorry, is it still too soon? It's about time you moved on. How long has it been? Three months? Two months and 16 days. Jesus, snap out of it, Sarah. Come on, let's go. We'll have some fun tonight, promise. No, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Half an hour. If it sucks, we'll bail. Okay, babe? I don't trust your half hours. Put an alarm on, okay? We just rot and become like a mum if you stay at home. <sighs> that settles it. I'm picking you up. Be ready at eight. No, no, it's okay. I'll get them myself. I'll see you there around nine. Need to have dinner first. Oh, the witch is cooking? Yeah. On the bright side, if she finally poisons you, you don't have to come. Or if you don't come, I'll assume you're dead from poison. And I'll call the cops. All right. All right, I'll come. What are you wearing? Ha. I can tell you what I'm not wearing. Slut. Bimbo slut. Fat cow. Skinny pimple booger lace vagina. And I'm out. See you later. Don't forget to bring those penis socks you got from Thailand. Hey, where are you? Why aren't you picking up? I've been calling for 15 minutes. Faith! If you don't pick up, I'm leaving. You and your late ass. Where's the party? There's no one here. Faith, this is not funny. I'm in the middle of the jungle and I'm alone. Where the fuck are you? Oh, I think Faith has got a really sore throat. Jesus. Hello there, is this Sarah? I'm Ariza. I received your contact from Faith. She told me you're coming for our little party, a special gathering. Hey, Arizu. Yeah, I'm supposed to meet her here. What's going on? I apologise, but reception here is undesirably terrible, and besides, we have a rule. No barfo bar phones allowed. I'm here to escort you safely to the venue. Escort? Yes, my dear. It's hard to navigate in the dark alone. It's part of our experience. I'm not sure about this. Can I talk to Faith? No, you may not. I apologise, but like I said, phones are not allowed. She's already safe there. Probably drunk already. Drunk? Faith doesn't get drunk. How do you know you're really her friend? I've known her since high school. Really? I don't think she's ever mentioned you. I keep a low profile. I'm not sure about this. I think I'll leave. Leave? Surely you jest. Why? I'm almost there. Faith will be disappointed you didn't show up. She's made reservations for you. Almost where? To where you are, of course. How do you know where I am? Faith told me she was meeting you there. I prefer if you didn't come here. Please? I am almost there. Please stop wherever you are. Do not worry, you are safe. I'm going to ring you. Please pick up. Hey Scary Sarah, thought it might interest you. A bunch of material for your research is an email from James. By the way, check out the calendar. Maybe you should stay tonight? Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm assuming this is relevant to something. Got an upside down pyramid, weird scarab. Side crucifix. It's really going to be fucking hard to remember these. Mm. What the fuck is this? Oh. Beltane, will purchase day, May Day. Druid Fire Festival, Coven Invitations. Will purchase Nacked. Animal and or human sacrifice, any age. And a blood, sac a blood involved. I think she should have gone on that day instead. Jesus. Christ. This is pretty, uh... You cannot touch her. Curse binding. The curse is particularly for people who have done harm in the past and as such already know to be a potential threat. The idea is to keep the person from speaking to or approaching the one you're trying to protect and to make them feel watched and judged for their past actions. You will need the following. A jar big enough to hold a poppet. Some kind of poppet. I use the wooden one with the offender's name written on the bottom. A photo could also be used. What the fuck is a poppet? Does it mean a poppet? I don't know. White out, a black candle, a mixture of black salt and cayenne pepper, a sigil of your own design meaning you cannot touch, name or pronoun, a permanent marker, light the candle and white out the mouth of your poppet. 
Roll the pop it in the mixture of black sand and cayenne pepper. Place it in the jar and seal the lid. You get the idea, guys. They're going to do some weird shit, basically. And these are the words. You cannot touch her. You cannot speak to her. Think of her and bring this curse upon you. May your tongue catch in your throat if you dare to reach her. May you burn and ache if you come near. May you feel eyes upon your back each time you think her name. They're watching. I'm watching. May you forever question the gaze of others. Do they know the things you've done? I do. I curse you. I bind you. You cannot touch her. Would you call me? Okay, so... Alright. So what am I missing here? Do I have to highlight the weird shit? I mean, this is weird shit. Sarah? Hi, James. Sarah, where are you? We're not saying anything, we're just like silent. Can you hear me? Hi. Sarah, I'm at the cult site, Sarah! Alright. Great. Hey, Sarah, why aren't you speaking? I need to talk to you. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm offline! Sarah? Are you there? Fuck. Sarah? Hello? Shit. Hold on. Do you hear that? That sounded pretty fucked up, whatever that was. Jesus, this is pretty good, to be fair. Um, It's urgent. Where are you? You've been missing for almost a day. Did you go to that party? Please tell me you didn't. It's really bad news. What? Who are you? Just someone trying to help you find Sarah. I guess I have to trust you. We'll get back to who you are later. Here, check this out. Those who are trying to prepare themselves for entry into... Is that from Marvel Hornets? What the fuck was that shit? It was like memes. Um, what am I looking at? What do you mean? Didn't you get the email I sent you yesterday? By the way, I'm here, where the party is supposed to be. Oh shit, I see them. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You wouldn't bother typing that, would you? You won't believe this. God. James, let me help you. Oh fuck, I think they saw me. James, what's going on? James? No, they didn't. Jesus, that was fucking close. Oh, I thought we were fucked. I'm hiding behind this. I don't know what this is. Fuck, I hear a sound. This is really tense, I don't know what the fuck to do. I mean, there's nothing we can do, really. Can't say any typing something. Typing a fucking small essay. Okay. Should I call him? If I call him, will I get him killed? I probably shouldn't do that, right? Derek Arso, I just realised. Um. Should I call that number? Is she got... Uh, what's her name? The chick? Do we just have a text? Does it make sense? Why would we just have a text number and then not that? You know what I mean? James, are you Okay. Hello, hello there. Welcome, dear uninvited friend. 
Who is this? I apologise for the sudden urgency I'm about to bespoke unto you. What are you talking about? Say hello, hello to James. Oh shit, it's the guy from the mask from before. What's going on? Hey. Share this link with another. Anyone. Everyone. Or say goodbye to a brief acquaintance. You have two minutes. Oh shit! Why the fuck are you doing this? Share it. Don't share the link. Please review, do not do this. What else can I do? I'm not gonna share the link, I'm not gonna share the link. James sent a photo. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I'm sorry James, but I don't really know who you are. And, uh, personally... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! This is so fucked up! Holy shit! I'm not gonna do it, I can't. James, I'm sorry, but... There's nothing I can do, like... I'm not sharing the link, because if I share the link, it's bad, right? It's gonna be really bad, I'm sorry James, but... I don't know who you are, and... I don't know what else I can do, you know what I mean? Like, what else the fuck can I do with this? I think James is pretty much fucked, to be honest with you. I guess you probably can share it. Don't share the link. I don't know if that's an objective or not, but we're not going to share it for now. You can always replay it again. I reckon you could get here pretty quickly once you knew what you were doing. There's like a minute left until James is fucked. This is pretty well done. I think I've seen a game like this where you've like felt so quite so tense, you know what I mean? It's the MPEG video. Hasn't he already shared that with me though? Like, haven't I seen it? Is that like a problem? Am I fucked because I watched the video? I don't know. But it's really cool. I don't think I've ever played anything like this. Well. Well, that's good. I never think that people die. They just go to the department store. This is really fucked up. Hello there. Oh, so Arizu is the one who's messaging me before. James is definitely dead. I apologise for not introducing myself. How rude of me. What do you want? Your appearance was not expected. But here you are, nonetheless. My name is Arizu. I am one of the, how do you say, leaders for tonight's ceremony. We met on a very fortunate night. Cherish this moment, my stranger friend. Are you fucking crazy? You just killed someone! Me? Kill? Never. Do not take me as a lowly murderer. Please do not misunderstand my intentions. Why kill that poor man? As I said before, I do not kill. And that man was anything but poor. He was a deceiver. Iris, fuck off right now. What the fuck? I, I wish you could see what she says a bit more clearly than that. Why do these options mean to you? Is this you demonstration of free will? Can't you see I'm being forced? I don't understand what's happening. Why is Iris pissed off? Okay, um... Can I reply to... Erizu? Yeah. That doesn't mean he should die. Many have died for less. Who are you? Where are my manners? I've been told you my name, but not what to do I do. I fear that my age has somewhat dulled me to these simple talk. Small talk, as you call it. 
Doesn't matter what I do, but what's important for you to know, my young friend, is that you, like everyone else in this world, you have a choice. I'm here to offer you that choice. You didn't offer James much of a choice. Trust me, he made his choices long ago. I don't think I trust you, Arizo, to be honest with you. Time is of the essence, not reason. What are my options? Now you understand, you must ask the right questions. The choice is simple, yet not. A leap of faith. We are almost out of time. So here it is. Would you like to join us? I believe you have the potential. It is rare for me to offer this to someone who is uninitiated. Yes, no, simple, yet not. Join who? Who are you? You will find out soon enough if you have your wits about you. Quickly now. Yes or no? Oh shit. I say yes. Fuck it. All I have to do is say yes. Say these two young ravishing women. Oh Jesus, it's their life. Oh fuck off. Fuck off, Iris. Was that Iris? Was that a gallery picture? Okay. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Um, Irizy. You choose between them. Who lives to see the sunrise tomorrow? Didn't you just say you're not a killer? But I do not. It's not my choice. Sacrifice is not the act of pure destruction. It is merely a transformation. Life is perpetual. I'll leave it up to you. God himself makes the decisions all the time, does he not? Why not ease some of the work for him or her? Or however it is you see your God. Sorrow or faith? Their name means nothing to, you, to us. For they are what binds them to the flesh and mud. Say one of their names and know that it will be their last breath. There is no sweeter invite than a last breath to welcome you. One passes, another comes. What you say? Why me? This is freaking stupid. I love this. Why? Why not? It is fun. Since you were here anyway. Why not choose? Everything in life is a choice. Whether you join us or not, it makes no difference. Yes or no? Sarah Faith. You have 10 seconds. Um. Faith. Kill Faith. Or save Faith. I don't know which one I did. I just picked Faith. Well, you know. The deed is done. Welcome, my child. You are indeed a rare being. Answer me this, where did you choose faith? These are all fucked up. It's all meaningless in the end. It may seem meaningless for now, but life has as much meaning as we put into it. Come now to these coordinates. We actually gonna go? She got fucked up. I don't really know what to do here. Like, this is like, is this the end? What the fuck is going on now? Oh, I had to click on it. There we go. It's a tough choice. But it had to be done. Sarah means too much to me. I've got a feeling this is a bad idea, but we'll go along with it. It hurts to see Faith go. Sarah knew Faith for the longest time. I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone to die. 
Life hurts a lot more than death. At least Sarah is okay. We need to find her. Quick. Alright. Um, what the fuck is going on here? You made it this far. Too bad you won't make it much further. What? But now you've now become part of something much larger. All will be revealed in due time, but not this instant. Are you a demon, Iris? Any last words? As you humans are so fond of leaving words behind? What the fuck? I want more death. Fuck it. Deaths want more death, and it's web to fall until we meet again. What the fuck did I just say? It's not I don't love our little traps, it's just... I don't love them. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on with this phone? What the fuck is going on? Is it just started again? I have no idea. Yeah, it started again. That was a, a weird little ending, wasn't it? I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm gonna skip through this again and uh, kill Sara. So, one second. Okay guys, so I tried to play play the game and it keeps crashing uh, when it's retrieving the phone memory so I can't actually see the other ending which is really fucking annoying because I wanted to see what happened. Um, hopefully I can get it working again but uh, until it does I'm not really sure what else to say. Um, I did like that. I thought up until the point it got really weird at the end that things were very good but I didn't really get it and I feel the dialogue options got really weird really quick like your responses seemed very out of character and unusual. I didn't really understand what was happening fully. But overall, very nice concept, interesting concept. And I feel that it could be expanded upon more to make it a bit more clear and a bit more engaging. I feel like I'm tired of horror being a bit too vague. That was a bit vague. And I, I want things to be more spelled out because I feel that it actually has more impact when it is, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, that was... Um, what the fuck is this game called again? Sarah is missing Sim. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was it was pretty good. And I, I think it was definitely worth a little playthrough. See you later, guys. Bye for now. Bye for now.